Hello everybody. I hope you're really well. Um, you know, today, I mean, there are things that we do first thing we get up in the morning and last thing we do at night. Most people pray, I do. And, um, you know, the thing is sometimes we just don't pray enough. Um, you know, I, um, what can I say? I just took a lot of things for granted most of my life, yeah? When people used to tell me, oh my God, Ambika ma'am, you've got magic in your hands after I did a haircut or, or I did bridal makeup or, or just any kind of makeup. And uh, I used to look at them, smile and say, thank you. But did I ever look up and say, thank you, God, for giving me this gift in my hands, you know? So uh, there was an incident probably when I was, I think I was 40, yeah. You know, my younger sister Renu came to me and said, uh, Chechi, I have a manat or a nersha as we call it in our language. She said, you know, and I fulfilled it. So now I have, I have decided um, the manat was to, to give all her hair at a temple. Yeah. So she said, so today is the day that I'm going to Malai Mandir in Delhi and um, I'm going to go take off my hair. So I was like, oh my God. So you are just going to go there and um, take off all your hair and drive back bald. How sad is that? So I'm going to come with you, <laughs> you know, and I will drive you back. I'll drive you there and I'll drive you back. So she said, okay. So we went and she, you have to get a little slip from the temple. So she went up to the temple to get the slip for herself to take her hair off. And I was sitting there waiting for her and I was thinking, I said, suddenly, you know, it just hit me that I said, my dad had a stroke a few months ago. And did I thank you for not taking him away at that point of time? Did I thank you enough for giving us time to spend with him? You know, very, very precious time. Did I thank you, God, for this gift that you've given me in my hand? Did I thank you for all those things that you have given me in my life, you know? And I realized I hadn't. So when Reno came back with her slip, I took the slip from her and said, go get yourself another slip because I'm using this one. So she looked at me and she said, like, Chechi, my God, are you sure? So I said, yeah. So I took off my hair. I went absolutely bold and in a way to say, it wasn't in a way, it was to say thank you for the, for the millions of things that you have given me and, and uh, most of all for giving us time with, with Achin, you know, and for giving me this gift in my hands that whatever people can take away from me, you know, I think there are three things that they cannot take away from me. One is my baby, <laughs> Kavi. She's not a baby anymore, but Kavita. My name, Ambika Pillai, which God has, I mean, my God and my dad gave me. And the third is this gift in my hands that God has given me. So thank you for all of this. I did it at that point of time. Uh, so for many years, I mean, I realize one thing, when I pray, most often I'm asking God, please look after the people that I love, please keep them safe. And uh, it was always asking for something, yeah. And you know, something really terrible happens in our lives. The first thing we do is close our eyes and we pray. And uh, we're always praying for whatever terrible things that have happened for it to go away. For um, for always asking, I, I want that and I want this and good health and, and health, wealth and happiness and peace of mind. But I want, I want, I want. We hardly ever say thank you. So, uh, you know, when I think I was in one of my deepest, saddest moments, I spoke to my friend, my, my best friend, Joey. And, um, and she was like, uh, she calls me Ambuse. Uh, so she said, listen, Ambu, say, um, you know, first of all, I want you to, um, 
sweep and mop. Mop your house with salt, rock salt water for seven days in a row. So I did that. Then she gave me one more thing to do, which I am forever grateful for, you know. She said, start keeping a gratitude journal with you. Of course, I just use my notepad and my phone. But uh, she said, every day, write down things that you're grateful for. So now I find myself constantly thanking God, you know, for the little, little things, the smallest and the littlest of things. Thank you. So you start your sentence with thank you, God. I mean, at least target 20 thank you messages in your gratitude journal and you will be shocked how amazing you feel after that. Because the more you give thanks, the more peaceful you get in your mind. That's what's happened to me, you know. Um, I know uh, people think, you know, Ambika Ma'am is always happy and all these amazing things are happening to her and, and all that. But there are just, I think, more terrible things that happen than really great things happening. And that's, that's just in everybody's case, you know. So when we are constantly in the depths of misery or whatever, we are always asking for redemption, asking for help. Thank God for help and for all that he has extended to you and for the littlest of things, giving you eyes that you can see, giving you... Uh, you know, a mind that you can think deep, giving you a heart that you can love so deeply and strongly. Just so many things to be thankful for. So I have started keeping my uh, gratitude journal and I hope this inspires many people around to do the same because it is just beyond amazing. It's beyond amazing how I feel now. And thanks to Joey for that. And, uh, and try it. <laughs> It'll really, really help you out. It'll calm your soul. That's for sure. And it just makes you just so, it just makes me so much happier. <laughs> so much happier. And I'm grateful for my great gratitude journal. <laughs> anyway, so this is just something, you know, today when I was, Typing out my little messages on my gratitude journal, I said, wow, I wonder if everybody's doing this. Why don't I put it out there so all of you can and try it and, and see how the world and world changes around you and how you feel. Sending out the thanks. I shall see you all. 